All right, you guys, I am so excited to announce to you our new Redline 360 project car. This is a 2005 BMW M3 E46. And this is a special car to me because I actually owned this car almost exactly one year ago. Uh, I actually bought it in uh, early August as well. And I had the opportunity to purchase it back on Friday. And so I snatched it right up. And so I'm really excited to have this car back and begin modifying it. The um, owner, which is the old owner, which is one of my really good friends, actually spent a lot of time restoring this car. This car uh, was in pretty good shape. However, it was really rough around the edges. He did a full restore on the paint. He um, updated uh, a whole lot of parts on the engine. For example, the Vanos was updated. Uh, a whole bunch of seals and gaskets were updated. Let me actually pop the hood for you guys so you can see. There we go. The engine's really, really clean. And you guys might not have been able to tell from the way this car looks. However, this thing has over 170,000 miles, runs perfectly, no issues at all. Super, super clean. Let me do a quick walk around for you guys. So here, you actually see that um, these were uh, non-original wheels. So the wheels that are here on the front actually came off of another M3 and uh, what uh, we're doing here is we're using the wheels from the rear of that car. So the car right now actually has uh, square wheels. They're the same size all around and they're a bit wider fitting in the front. So uh, I will actually be getting new wheels and tires pretty soon, but I just kind of want to show you guys how um, normally the factory wheels are sunken in a whole lot more than this. Everything else in the car, externally, is pretty much stock. There's nothing really to it. Super nice paint job, super, super clean. No body damage, almost no scratches. A few very light uh, nicks and dings, but Overall, the car is really clean. I could pop the trunk for you guys so you can see in here. It's as though it's never been used back here. Oh, the car does actually need a new battery. Right now, the battery in here is out of an E92 M3. So we're gonna have to adjust that first. So you can see it's super clean. Even up here, everything looks really clean. Okay. So here's the interior. I want to show you guys, there's a brand new um, updated LED lights on the bottom. New steering wheel. Shift knob has been updated. Center console has been updated. New armrest. Uh, new head unit. It's an Android head unit. The only thing that this car really needs is a new seat. And you can see after 170,000 miles and about 14 years, the seats pretty much had it. Um, I do have a factory replacement seat that's in much better shape than this, but eventually we will get aftermarket performance seats. I'm not sure what kind yet, but we'll have that in a future video. Then you can see the rear seats here on pretty good shape. Everything in the car is just super clean. You can see the center roof. I was actually thinking about um, removing the center roof and replacing the roof. Um, that I'm still thinking about because the parts themselves aren't too bad. The um, new new carbon fiber roof is about 1,400 bucks. The um, slick top headliner is about 700 bucks, but it's a whole lot of work taking out this roof and replacing it. If I pay somebody else to do it, it's going to be around $3,000 in labor. 
And for a 2005 car with 170,000 miles on it, not sure if it's really worth it. Although it will be really, really cool and really nice. So that we'll have to see if we can do in a future video. Those have been updated, new uh, side wheels. And the car also has halos. Let me actually turn it on for you and then see if the camera will pick up the halos there. They're super bright. So I'm not sure if the, if the car will pick it up or the camera will pick up the, the lights here. see the halo yeah the camera might have a hard time these because they're so bright so I'm not sure how these are gonna turn out but these are actually um, uh, the halos from Orion so they're very bright there you can see some wiring I'm gonna have to do a wire tuck on this make it nice and clean but in the daytime these are super bright they just look really nice. Let's see if the interior lit up here. Yeah, here you can see uh, just a little bit about, you know, um, uh, how the car looks. Yeah, there's no check engine light. It's only because the car is actually not running. Otherwise, there's no lights or anything. The car is solid. There you can see it's 170,000 miles. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, hope you enjoyed this really quick walk around of our new 2005 E46 M3 project car. We're gonna have a lot more videos coming as we modify this car to be a street and track monster. We're gonna do everything we can to make sure that this car can run super fast on the track, but be, uh, um, you know, essentially really nice and livable on the street. All right, guys, really excited for this one. Hope you follow along. Please like and subscribe and see you on the next video.